What's going down, everybody? It's your man, Pro Diggy, from the Chaos Crew, but you can call me Diggy if you like. And I know it's been a little while since I uploaded. I've just been kind of busy, so I apologize for that. But I do have a story for you today, and uh, technically, um, this is part two of Diggy Gets Drunk. But it really should have been part one because I totally forgot about this. So part one is going to be like Diggy gets drunk off of hard liquor. And then this one's going to be Diggy gets drunk off of beer and other stuff. So uh, I totally forgot about this one. And uh, I just for some reason I remembered it. So this is going to be like my first time getting drunk. Like my legit first time. But like I said, it's off of beer. So the other one will be the first time on hard alcohol. This one's off of beer. Anyway. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little bit of backstory. Um... When I was about 15 years old, me and my best friend Joe and, like, his mom and his mom's, like, sister and, uh, like, her kid or whatever, we all went to fucking uh, Magic Mountain. And they went off and did their thing or whatever. Me and Joe, you know, the whole time we were off, like, by ourselves doing our thing, going on rides, shit like that, whatever. And uh, we ended up, like, meeting these two girls. And one of them was fucking hot as shit. And... We ended up, like, going up to them and like, hey, you know, what are you guys doing? You want to go on some rides or whatever? And they were like, yeah, for sure, let's hang out. And we ended up hanging out most of the day, and or actually all the day, and into the night until they left. And uh, I ended up hooking up with uh, the really hot girl. Her name was Melody. And that was kind of like my first kind of puppy love relationship. Like, I had had girlfriends or whatever before, but this was more like... You know what I mean? It's just like the first like real puppy love relationship or whatever. And the problem is, is it was kind of like a long distance relationship. She lived in Yorba Linda, which is in like Orange County near Fullerton. Um, and I didn't drive because I was 15. So it was really hard to, you know, have a relationship with two people that don't drive and don't live anywhere near each other. And I get a fucking nice little Semtex. And then I get fucking Game Ward, you little bitch. Um, like, look at instant gratification. He puts it down and I die. Fuck that shit, you camping little bitch. But anyway, um, okay, so, you know, we're trying to hold down this long distance relationship and her dad happened to live in like Marina Del Rey or something, which wasn't that far and she used to come visit him and stuff. So, when she would come down here, like, there was, I saw her a few more times, like, we went and actually saw Tap together, which was a really good show. And, uh,. And she went to, like, homecoming with me, and there was a time that she was, like, spending the weekend with her dad, so I got to, like, spend most of the weekend with her and stuff like that, so whatever. But ultimately, it failed, because long-distance relationships generally do. It's just too hard. And we ended up breaking up, and, I mean, I was pretty hurt. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty upset. Um, I didn't cry or anything, but I was just, you know, I just had that, like, that feeling in my gut, you know, like, that's just, like, that kind of, like, ugh, this sucks, you know, whatever. But I was pretty much over it in, like, a day or two, um... Where I wasn't really thinking about it anymore and everything and just moved on with my life. And all of a sudden I start getting these... This is back when pagers were like the shit, okay? And I had a pager. Um, but anyway, so... I get these fucking voicemails on my pager. And when I get home, I check them. And it's like this girl. And she's like, I can't believe you like fucked me and then just left me. And now I'm pregnant and blah, blah, blah. And then, I, and then like, I'm like, what the fuck? What is this garbage? At this time, I was still a virgin. So I was like, what the hell is this bitch talking about? And then there's like a, another voicemail from a dude. And he's like, man, you fucked my girlfriend. You got her pregnant. I'm going to fuck you up and this and that. And I'm like, wow, what the hell is this madness? So anyway, um, I come to find out. I figure out that it's like Melody fucking around, right? And it wasn't actually her. But I was talking to her about it. I finally got her to confess that it was her friend Megan. And like one of their friends, like the dude was one of their friends pretending like shit or whatever. And I get a two-piece. Eh. Um, so... I hit up this girl, Megan, and I'm like, why the fuck are you bothering me? Like, I don't even know you, blah, blah, blah. And she, at first, she was kind of a bitch. Like, oh, yeah, you know, fucking, you're like, fuck with my friend and this and that and then whatever. And it ended up that, like, she was actually really cool. And we ended up talking and stuff and, like, getting along really well. And then I get a two-piece, uh. And we got along really well and everything. And she was like, well, you know, my brother's having a party tonight. You and uh, your friend should, like, come over and, you know, party with us and blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, like I said, she lived in Fullerton, two-piece, uh, um, so I was like, well, the only way we're gonna be able to get there is, like, taking the train or something, and, but after we take the train, how the fuck are we gonna get to your house, and I get my spruce goose in this bitch, um, <clears throat> excuse me, so, she was like, well, let me talk to my parents, 
and she talks to her parents and they decide that they're willing to pick us up from the train station if we take the train we talked my parents into driving us to the train station and all this fucking shit and this was all like last minute by the way like this happened at like noon or like one o'clock where all this shit went down and then by like four we were on a train so i mean we were like on that shit and this is a really boring ac-130 except for the last part so whatever at a really shitty angle and they were all hiding like little pussies okay so we get to fucking fullerton Get off the train. We know what they're going to be wearing because they said we're both going to be wearing like these black dresses and stuff. And we see two of the finest fucking girls I have ever seen in my freaking life to that point. Um, oh, check this out. It's coming up like right now. I get it off like at the last second. Kaboom, bitch. Five piece ultra mega meal deal. Uh, 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 uh. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me. Anyway. So we get there, and these girls are fucking fine, and we're giggling like little schoolgirls, trying to get our composure together. We finally compose ourselves and go meet up with them and everything. And uh, we go to the party, and they've got, like, kegs and, like, all these old people, because, like, it's her brother throwing the party, so most of the people are, like, way older than us. Um, but, man, it was fucking dope. Like, we just started drinking some beer. We ended up doing, like, like a couple of keg stands. We got fucking wasted like we were lit up smashed wet whatever the fuck you want to call it we were just holy shit fucked up and then like some other dude came like towards the end when people were like kind of leaving and stuff he's like hey i got kamikaze and we're like well fuck it let's have some of that then and had some kamikaze you just got even more fucked up and i think we smoked weed and it was just like an amazing time and uh <laughs> the funny story is is that Joe ended up getting sick, and he was, like, puking in the fucking, uh, the trash can outside one of those big trash cans, and, uh, I was inside trying to go to sleep, and I was trying to kind of, like, you know, throw the mat down on Megan a little bit, and I hear out the window, I hear, and I hear Joe puking, so I'm like, fuck, you know, that's my boy, so he was out, like, on the fucking, like, like, chairs, like, the long, like, laying down, like, lawn chairs or whatever the fuck that you call them. Uh, by the pool and I was like fuck it so I went out there and I laid on one of the lawn chairs next to my boy Joe and made sure he was all right and everything but it was still a really good time so anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed my true first drinking story this has been your man pro diggy from the motherfucking chaos crew but you can call me diggy if you like don't forget as always to like comment subscribe and I'll see you in my sights